The following experimental procedure is dealing with the synthesis of a unique compound sometimes used in pyrotechnics, the silver acetylite. Its synthesis uses a wide range of chemicals, some of them toxic, others harmful or even explosive. Obey the safety rules for each of the used chemical. We start the silver acetylide synthesis with the generation of Tolon's reagent. 20 ml of silver nitrate 0.2 molar are poured in a small beaker. Under constant stirring, 1 ml of sodium hydroxide, 1 molar is added. Observe the abundant brown precipitate, the silver oxide. Dissolve this precipitate by adding concentrated ammonia until a clear colorless solution is obtained. This is the Tolas reagent. The second chemical necessary to our synthesis is acetylene. This can be generated in situ using a small piece of calcium carbide reacted with water in a conical flask. If the flask is stoppered with a rubber stopper bearing a U-shaped tube, we can bubble the generated acetylene into the Tolan's reagent. The gray precipitate formed is silver acetylide. As it is a transitional metal acetylide, it is insoluble in water. Filter off the precipitate. Dry the solid in a dark place after it has been washed with distilled water. Once dried, approach carefully a flame to the silver acetylide. When ignited, you will hear a loud bang as silver acetylide is decomposing with explosion. As the used compounds contain silver, which is very harmful for the environment, discard all chemicals safely. A precipitation with hydrochloric acid can separate all silver ions from a solution. Filter the silver chloride and place it in a container for toxic inorganic waste. Do not store silver acetylide. Try to decompose it either by explosion or by reacting it with hydrochloric acid.